welcome back to another video. My name is Anushka if you are new here. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a new video on a concealer. It's going to be a review and a first time try on. Um, this is the Nabla Close Up Concealer Stay Full Smooth. That's what it said underneath. <laughs> Um, this was like £15 on Beauty Bay and I saw them swatch it and it looked really full coverage So I really like I love me some full coverage concealer. So you guys know I'm so excited to try this. I got the shade golden beige I feel like it's an okay affordable concealer, but before we go on to trying it I am going to do my post notification shout out. Okay, so today's post notification shout out goes to awesome girls So thank you so much for your comment if you guys want to get one next time All you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then comment in the comments below when you have done so and you can just comment anything you want really okay so I've already got everything done I just need to do my concealer and everything else so let me just show you the concealer so this is what the concealer looks like it is looking a bit neutral to me it's golden beige but we'll see when we swatch it it's got one of those huge doe foot applicators and this is a swatch the doe foot applicator is a bit scratchy to be honest but yeah that's what it looks like. I feel like it's... <sighs> this smells of something I know but I don't know what it is right now. <sighs> I don't know what the smell is. It's, it's there. You know when you just know it but you can't describe it. Blending it out. I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can really see. not too bad it's definitely covered in brown look at the other side okay, I'm gonna do the other side it does apply a lot of product to be honest and to be honest I'm not, I'm not too mad at the shade we're gonna compare it to my Tarte Shape Tip in a bit which is the one I always use Okay, so I am getting the impression that it's just sitting there, but I don't know. It looks good on camera. It's definitely full coverage. Definitely cleaned up the, my dark hair under eyes. This is what it's looking so far. I mean, it's very similar to Tarte Shape Tape. Mm, Tarte Shape Tape is a bit, a little bit warmer, darker. So this is my Tarte Shape Tape one, and this is the Nabla one in golden beige. The Tarte Shape Tape one is a bit warmer and slightly darker, so yeah, maybe that's why I'm a bit like, oh, this is really bright, but it works. It, it does work. I mean, it is, I don't know if it's my skin, my skin's not doing too good these days, you know? I have those times where it just gets really bumpy and there's so much texture. It's because I've been slacking on my water drinking, but I need to get back into it. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I just did my makeup and to be honest, I'm really liking the concealer. Like, would I wear this again? Definitely. By the way, the lipstick I'm wearing is the Vice Liquid Lipstick by Urban Decay in ZZ or ZZ or something like that. Um, it's really nice. It's very pinky. I do want to say that the application was a little bit patchy on this side, but apart from that, like, it worked really well. You guys can see. It's a little bit patchy. I did put the dark, the light, the brightness down a bit, but yeah, the concealer looks really nice to be honest, I'm actually quite happy with that. So yeah, I think that's what I have to say for now, I'm really happy. So the time now is 9.50, so I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the day and I'm going to check back in later and see if it has creased, because that is a big no-no for me, but so far it's really nice, very full coverage, the, like it really brightened up my eyes. I did use the powder that I used today was the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Kanafa, the yellowy one, because it was a bit more on the darker side, uh, the brighter side. So yeah, even though I set it with Kanafa, it's still quite bright. So yeah, everything seems to be good. It's very soft, doesn't go cakey. Maybe I see a little patch there, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my skin. But it looks flawless. So yeah, I'll be back later on. And yeah. My phone's literally on the floor. 
Okay guys, so it's now 5.42. I don't even know how many hours, like I'm just so tired. My makeup looks like it's just been done. Guys. I mean, concealer has creased a little bit. I mean, I can notice a little bit of creasing, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But everything else, stay, I mean, everything is stay put. But the concealer, like when you look at my face, it's nice and bright. It looks stunning. So I like it. I dropped my phone, guys. It didn't break, but still, it stresses me out. So on this packaging, on the box packaging, it says that it's... Stay, it stays on, it's full and it's smooth. So definitely full coverage, definitely smooth. Did it stay? It it did. It did stay. It's very similar to Tarte Shape Tape. Like, very, very similar. They don't have a lot of shades, I believe. I don't know, I forgot. But, yeah, if you can find your colour, I would, I would really recommend this. It's only £15 and you get free delivery of Beauty Bay with £15 anyway. So, yeah, I think it's a bargain. It's a really nice product. It creased a little bit there. Can you see that? Where it gathers in a line. You can kind of still see it even when I'm looking straight, you know? But that's the only downside to it. Oh my god, look at my mouth area. What would I rate this? I think I'll give it like a 9 out of 10. It's a really good concealer. I'm pretty surprised. It's a bit light, but it works. Like, I love how it highlights my under eye. So yeah, big thumbs up. I do hope you guys found this video helpful. I think that's all I have to say. And yeah, if you want more reviews from me, definitely let me know and let me know what products you would like me to review. And yeah, I love you guys.